Hi everyone, I'm Ji Yi and I'm currently a second year computer science student at Trinity College, Cambridge. Now that you've been at university for a little over a year, what things did you experience that were not what you thought the university was going to be like? After this one year of experience, um, I feel like um, a guiding thing in university uh, or something that's different from high school is that you need to take up responsibility for yourself because I think university is a place to prepare you for your future and it is quite a precious dedicated three years undergraduate to um, get you um, to, tr to, to make decisions for yourself and also because you are the only one who knows what you really want in the future so um, I think in uni everything is up to you and whether like going to lectures or not doing supervision work or not and also um, what kind of things to explore in your spare time is all um, up to you to decide so I think this is something that was quite new and also quite challenging for me um, after I came to uni uh, that, that's an interesting uh, an interesting thing to remark on so yes when you are at school then you have to do what the teacher says uh, and when you're doing uh, an undergraduate course uh, there are things that are set out for you to do, but it's up to you to do them or not. And yeah. there's nobody policing you whether you go to the lecture or you don't go to the lecture yeah. and so on. Um, have you found this uh, uh, liberating or have you found this uh, uh, frightening because you don't have uh, the rails of a guide? I think it is liberating most of the time, although occasionally when I mess up, it just feels like, oh no, what did I do? But um, this freedom, I think, is good as long as we can control ourselves. So, um, for example, the lectures are um, usually in the morning and uh, we have a lot of time in the rest of the day left to do our own work. And um, also, like, since the supervision work don't count toward the final grade, you, you can feel free to like, write down what you think and um, leave any questions in it without worrying too much what consequence this will bring. So I think this kind of freedom helps me to like, focus more on um, understanding the knowledge and things without worrying too much about how this will affect on my degree. Um, yeah, and I think because like we only have one exam season in the end of every academic year at Cambridge, um, we can make use, like the chunk of time that we can arrange is much longer. Um, it spans across the whole year, so like um, we can freely um, arrange what we are going to do like in the vacations to um, say like revise what we learned or do something else. So I think um, it gives us a lot of f flexibility to um, use our time according to our own habits. So it's I feel like it's quite good for me. So when you were at school, uh, did you feel uh, a lot of pressure to perform based on grades uh, throughout the year? Yeah, sometimes because um, I think every assignment counts a little bit towards the final grade and also because the homework are like pieces by pieces so there are a lot of dues and deadlines floating around all the time and sometimes when I want to spend time on some subjects that I feel like I need to uh, look at it a bit more but I just got um, say a presentation that I need to do next week so I just can't do that so um, it um, it puts some more like I will feel some more pressure um, constantly in that kind of uh, working paradigm and also um, less freedom in prioritizing things um, but here like you know we can we can really do what we what we want to do mm. so um, how have you exercised this newfound freedom in this year uh, and, and a third that you've done so far what what choices did you do and what what are the choices that made you happiest yeah I think um, there are just so many things that you can do in uni and you kind of need to figure out what values the most for you and prior what to prioritize. So for me, I feel like the coursework is the absolute core for my time here because um, what we learn now are the fundamentals in the subject and also um, the degree, the tripos, is a very good resource to learn these things um, effectively and efficiently. Like. We can still learn these things maybe after we graduate, but it's going to be harder because we will not have these lectures and supervisors. So I think the time here is a really good time to um, learn the fundamentals of the subject. Uh, so that is um, what I feel the most, um, I think the highest priority for me here. Um, but beyond that, there's still some other time that I can do other things. 
So, um, for example, there are a lot of societies out there, both academic and non-academic. And for me, um, what I do is um, going to some societies. Um, for example, I, um, I, I go to workshops in um, the University um, Competitive Programming Society and also the Artificial Intelligence Society. Like, um, for me, the way I do is that, so I'm not on the committee and I also intentionally control the commitment to be not too much. Um, I think a relatively low commitment but continuous participation is a kind of low risk way to learn some new things, um, but also not uh, like risking uh, not being able to finish um, other things. So that's what I do um, to explore outside the coursework. And also like um, after a year, and also an internship in the summer, I found soft skills to be quite critical, um, no matter what we do, like research or um, job in industry, um, like communication skills and skills to collaborate with a team and to speak in a meeting and to put together um, a, short, a short discussion and so on. Um, so I find those things quite important as well. So this year I'm starting to intentionally practicing that a little bit as well in societies and also um, I hope in the group project coming next term. Yeah, so like to summarize, um, for me, um, I try to um, I try to direct all my effort firstly towards the course itself because um, they're very interesting and important. And other than that, um, I do some attempts to explore around it little by little so that um, it is not too risky and I can still learn new things and go deeper when I feel appropriate. So, um, so that we don't just remain in uh, uh, very abstract terms, yeah. uh, what are the most exciting things that you learned at university so far? I think... What, uh, let me, what topics, what courses, what kind of stuff you did? Yeah. So uh, before I came to uni, I was really interested in competitive programming and also some um, mathematical things. So um, in my first year, I remember my favorite course was discrete maths, where we learned how to write proofs um, and um, some set theories and basic stuff. And this year we had semantics, which is kind of like um, also a kind of mathematical course, um, but it's more closely tied with programming language and um, it is also the kind of thing I like. So this is the theme that I've been always interested in. And also this year I discovered something that I didn't really know before. Um, in Mikomas, um we had um, some, I would say, um, slightly more lower level course, because in the first year it is mostly like um, object-oriented programming, um, graphics, these kind of um, slightly more high level programming languages things and this year we learned like concurrent programming and distributed systems where we looked into like um, us more um, things that underlie the um, programming languages we use and also we looked at computer architecture which is like um, how a computer works basically so I didn't I didn't really know much about this field before but um, after Mikom, the, the study in Mikoma's term, I found them to be very interesting actually because they are tightly correlated with each other. Sometimes I don't really know what, like, which course this idea comes from because they are really um, work with each other. And um, I think this other aspect of computer science, um, of like how we put together um, things from small primitives to make it actually work and uh, to, to support the, like, under the, um, the seamless, um, easy, like, fluent programming experience, what is underneath that. Um, I find this also quite interesting to me this year. It, it, it wasn't something I expected, but... It... So, if you had to make this um, your career focus, would you be more drawn towards the high-level programming or the low-level programming or even building the machine itself? I actually, I was quite hesitating a lot, like when I was applying for internship this year, I applied for both directions and in the end I ended up still at a kind of higher level programming place. Um, 
sorry what what did you say what was your internship about where was it what, what were you doing there yeah so last summer i did a software engineering internship at a fintech company and uh, what i did was a project on caching so the company has a big database of um of things and what i needed to do was to cache uh, whatever I think will help um, to improve the throughput of certain service. And um, at that time, I didn't take the concurrent course yet, um, but I kind of got a taste of what it is like in industry, even though like the programming was kind of high level. So I think... So was yeah. your... your um, the software you worked on, was this a kind of uh, exploratory uh, speculative project or was it something that was going to be used in production? Um, it was an existing service in production, um, and uh, what I needed to do was to experiment with caching and see how it affects the throughput. Mm -hmm. What language were you working in? Golang. So Go. Golang. Yeah. Okay, right. yeah okay. Did you know that before? No. <laughs> you <laughs> so you I picked it up, up on the job. Yeah. How, how long was your training period in this internship? Um, it wasn't hard. Like It was quite similar to the C programming family, and actually sometimes neater, like sometimes it resembles Python more. So um, it's like a few weeks, I, that's enough to get used to it. How long was the whole internship? Um, the internship was like 10 weeks, but I started to look at the language before it started um, to look at some primitives and syntax of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so like back to the topic about whether I want to do like lower level things or higher level programming, I think an ideal state is to be someone who can program things um, keeping while also at the same time keeping in mind the um, what's going on beneath things. So um, I don't know if I made it clear, it's like when we program, um, I hope that no matter what I program, um, maybe in some high level languages, I still, um, I'm still aware of what's going on beneath so that um, I can make more sensible choices and make things safe. So I think they're not like contradicting, the contradictory. It's like some skills that are necessary for any um, computer scientist or engineer. So I want to be like someone who is um, literate, like who knows something in both areas and that will enable me to um, exercise them more freely and to build whatever I, I, will, I, will, need, I will want to. Mm -hmm.